Welcome everyone to a brand new episode of Dread Captures. First of all, I would like to take a minute to apologize for the audio, or lack thereof, in the last video. During the uploading process, I somehow muted the entire second half of the video, and didn't realize until it was too late. Yeah. So, anyhow, I added those clips to the end of this video, and I hope you'll enjoy them with the proper audio. If not, like I said, this is a brand new video. Thank you all for your support, your understanding, and let's get into the captures. As the old adage goes, forests are believed to be inhabited by werewolves and witches who emerge at night. However, it seems that one of these malevolent entities has chosen to reveal itself during daylight hours. This video, shot at an undisclosed location, captures a car driving through an orchard of some sort, when the driver spots a peculiar creature on the side of the road. Initially identified as a small animal, the creature is soon revealed to be a small, faceless figure crouched and or eating something. The creature quickly scurries away upon seeing the car approach. Is this truly a little creature? Or just a fabricated hoax? What do you guys think? I will say this. One commenter said that this was just a skunk. And the more and more I watch it, the more I'm inclined to think they're right. The body of the supposed creature running away might just be the tail of the skunk, even though the tail looks huge. I don't know, I'm definitely interested in your thoughts on this one. In this awesome clip, we see a mountain lion after a coyote. So the first picture is of the mountain lion as she comes around the corner after the coyote. You can kind of see the tail of the coyote off the left of the screen. The trail camera didn't pick it up until it was too late. The other angle we'll see is the coyote just drinking from the watering hole. You can tell he's very wary of what's going on. As the coyote nips the water, the mountain lion approaches from behind. He takes off and you can see the cloud of dust as the lion and coyote scuffle. This is a tough matchup for the coyote. The mountain lion is an assassin, an apex predator, and the coyote, while tough, gains most of his strength from the pack. He can't stand toe to toe with a massive predator like the mountain lion. His best bet is to try to flee and not get caught, which unfortunately does not happen today. Another amazing video here, but don't worry, this one has a happy ending. Pay attention to the right side of your screen. This is just unbelievable. Look at the deer battling. Such resilience. And she gets away. It's just crazy. This is probably one of the most amazing clips I've seen. A man fishing in Canada had been watching two adult bald eagles perched atop a tree near their nest. Well, somehow a bear noticed them also. And the next thing you know, this massive black bear is scaling up this tree. Mom and dad leave the nest and are squawking and trying multiple swooping flybys trying to dissuade the bear from advancing any further. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen, and the bear keeps going. The man says this went on for a solid 15 minutes until the bear reached the top and pulled a rather large-sized eaglet out of the tree and brings him to the ground. 
While this is an amazing camera capture and seems out of the ordinary, I would bet this is more common than we might think. Bears are great climbers. We know they love to eat, and frankly, they have nothing to worry about in regards to predators. Nevertheless, amazing footage, and I know that guy was happy that that water was in between he and the bear. Coming across a big cat like this mountain lion in the woods would be pretty terrifying and something you would not soon forget, unless you never knew in the first place. In this picture, you can see the man smiling, very happy, because he had a successful hunt on this huge deer, and now he's going to get his buddy to take a picture of him with it. However, only when the flash goes off, does the picture reveal what is lurking behind him. Look at that, the lion's eyes shining as she watches him. We only have this one picture. We don't know if the lion was already hiding in the bushes because the deer had fallen there, or if the lion had been stalking the man, waiting to attack. Now, at the end of the day, I don't imagine the lion is that picky. I think he'd eat either one of them. But seeing this picture must have made this man's heart drop. When interviewed later, the man said he heard a ruckus in the bushes. Unbeknownst to him, most likely this lion was chasing and catching some other prey very nearby. Man, it would have been amazing to capture that on camera too. Anyhow, what an amazing deer and an awesome keepsake to have in this picture. A trail cam installed in the woods of Michigan State in September 2016 captured something spooky. Initially, everything was fine. The camera filmed adorable moments of tiny eaglets in their nest. But suddenly, a black bipedal creature appeared from behind a tree below the nest and walked away. Due to the blurred image, it's difficult to identify the creature. However, many people believe it was a Bigfoot. There have been numerous sightings of Bigfoot reported over the years, and this recent incident has only added fuel to the fire. Naysayers will say there's a lack of concrete evidence, but Bigfoot continues to captivate the thoughts of people around the world. What do you guys think? Was this a Bigfoot? If it's not, it's quite the elaborate hoax. Okay, so someone would have to know that the camera was there. Someone would have to get a Bigfoot suit. They would have to walk within the range of the camera, be picked up on film, and then hope someone even notices them. And then what? I mean, you guys saw how small the image was on the camera. It was barely picked up. How many times might someone have to do something like this before they're even noticed? It seems like a lot of work for nothing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know this video has been floating around forever. Just a great video of mountain lion cubs here. It is rare to see mountain lion cubs in the wild, and trail camera footage is really one of the only ways you get to see them. It's definitely the safest, that's for sure. Because if you see mountain lion cubs, I hope you have some protection because mom is very, very close by. The cubs are born with spots to help them blend in and provide camouflage from other predators. Just really cool footage here. This video may be one of the rarest, as it captures an incredibly shocking moment. It begins with a wild boar walking normally, 
and the trail camera is doing precisely what it's designed to do record the footage however within a matter of seconds the scene takes a dramatic turn out of nowhere the animal collapses to the ground and struggles to stand back up suddenly its body begins to tremble and its legs shake violently and watch this a plume of black smoke emerges from its body and then it becomes still according to the person who owns the trail camera unfortunately the animal was later found dead in the same area okay now I'm really perplexed about this what the heck happened here someone said his soul left his body I don't think so could he have been shot and then somehow the gases inside of him are coming out seriously what could this be this next video shows us something completely off the wall a bunch of birds were flying high and suddenly they fell quickly and forcefully to the ground now I've seen this clip a bunch of times like most of you probably have but this is still unlike anything I've ever seen before that some of the birds got up and flew away but others didn't move and seemed to have died in the crash down to earth later on it was confirmed that some of the birds did die in the collision so my question what would make this flock of birds crash into the ground in such a way that some would die i feel like i need to know <laughs> i almost didn't put this video in this series because like i said i figured most people have seen it but then i thought the viewers of this channel are smart. Someone will know something. I have scoured through the comments of other videos and I've yet to see a good explanation for this. So please let me know what you think happened here. A strange video captured by a trail camera has gained widespread attention after it allegedly shows a spooky figure in a forested, undisclosed location. The footage starts off pretty normal, but then a strange creature enters the frame from the left side, crawling on all fours. This eerie creature appears to be lumbering through the woods like a large, bulky animal. However, its behavior specifically the way it stops and looks around does not match any known animal traits from this area or in general really as the video was captured from a distance it's difficult to make out the exact nature of the creature nevertheless many people are speculating that it might be the infamous and terrifying creature known as the rake Let's think about this. Imagine you set up a trail camera to catch the predator that is eating your livestock and you capture this footage. A humanoid creature creeping through the back of your property, heading straight for the barns. First of all, what is this thing? It's obviously walking on two feet but it doesn't move like a human even if it is a camera glitch making the thing translucent i can't think of anything else that moves that way as we watch it again in slow motion you can see that its eyes are glowing too man this is pretty wild i'd love to know what this could be Now I've seen a few of these videos online, but this one is actually pretty funny. Someone has hung a mirror in the woods and set up a trail camera to capture this bear's reaction. And you can tell that the bear 100% thinks there's another bear in front of him. 
He checks behind the mirror and then eventually rips it down. As we watch it again, you can see the bear getting more agitated and becoming more aggressive. Anyhow, just a cool thing to capture on camera. This next Bigfoot video is taken in southeast Oklahoma. Now, most of Oklahoma is just flat land, but the southeast portion is heavily wooded and an area that could easily be home to Bigfoot. The Bigfoot Researchers Organization has traveled out there to conduct an investigation into a potential Bigfoot caught on camera. They are hoping their recreation will shed some light onto the validity of this video. The video in question was taken in 2011. It involves two kids who are filming a video to teach viewers how to cook the best s'mores. You can see them going along giving direction. And in the background, someone or something runs by. The boys are none the wiser. They don't react to the creature. In fact, it wasn't until two days later that they even noticed the creature in the background of the video. Two of the members of the BFRO really believe this is a Bigfoot, while another one remains skeptical. And this may not be a Bigfoot, but I have to agree that the boys' body languages and demeanors seem genuine. And I don't think they had anything to do with creating a hoax, if this is what it turns out to be. After the recreation, the more skeptical BFRO member explains that this creature is of human size and human height, and there is no definitive evidence at all that this is a Bigfoot, and not just a regular person. She goes on to explain that there are houses in the general vicinity and someone could be easily running in the tree line. And furthermore, and a bit damning if you ask me, is that this town has a history of Bigfoot. There is a Bigfoot gift shop and even a festival each year celebrating the creature. She makes an interesting comment saying, quote, is this an example of the evidence creating the myth? or the myth creating the evidence. The believers counter that it was 114 degrees that day. No one would be running in a Bigfoot suit in that temperature. They really feel that the kids and father are not involved and Southeast Oklahoma is a Bigfoot hotbed with multiple sightings each year. Anyhow, both sides put up a nice argument. Let me know what you guys think. I do believe that the kids most likely didn't have anything to do with the figure, but I just don't know. This next camera capture is a badger just minding its own business when two coyotes start to gang up on it. However, the badger here isn't going down without a fight. He's able to even the playing field by moving into the sticks where the coyotes can't move around as well. Eventually, these guys give up, realizing this isn't worth it. In May of 2015, a mushroom hunter is recording himself on a routine hunt in the northern Illinois forest when he is blown away by a startling sound coming from somewhere nearby. The hunter has never heard anything like that and pans his camera back and forth around the woods to see if he can spot anything, but he sees nothing. I think it's time to go. Let me know what you guys think about this clip. Huh? This is just an incredible video. We see this guy trying to feed a bald eagle. Just watch.
This guy is incredibly lucky. The Eagles' talons could have really messed this guy's hands up. In Mount Baker National Forest, some tourists were lucky enough to capture this round and round between a small and very quick squirrel and a pine marten. The pine marten looks like a full-size squirrel, but that's just how much bigger than he really is than this squirrel. This is a great compilation of cats catching birds. The third one is my personal favorite. But look how unbelievably athletic and agile these cats are. It's impressive. This incredible video showcases an epic battle between some wolves and a giant black bear. The wolves have a den nearby and they're protecting their precious little pups. The pups are only a few weeks old, but the powerful pack instinct of the wolves to keep them safe is on full display. Despite the bear's imposing size, it realizes that it's not worth it to go against this fiercely protective family. This was a great camera capture. It's actually shot from multiple angles, so you can capture the full viewing experience. This is a pretty crazy video here. A hawk has dive-bombed a makeshift chicken coop looking to score an easy meal. After things don't go as planned, the hawk tries to abort the mission, but he's stuck. He can't seem to get out of the enclosure, and the roosters are on him. They're determined to make him pay. They chase him into the hen house, where they ultimately go out of camera view. Man, those roosters were not intimidated at all. I really, really wonder what the end result of this was. A person exploring the forest of Amherst took a video, and it was a little disturbing. They walked upon a structure made of branches in the middle of the forest. At first glance, one might think it was made by kids playing, or even just a person seeking shelter for the night. However, upon closer inspection, the person recording the video noticed small twigs tied up in different formations as if someone had been trying to create strange symbols. What do you guys make of these? I don't know enough about them to know if they're satanic, but what's even scarier is at the end of the video. The recording captures someone running away in the woods. Of course, the recorder didn't pursue them. Anyhow, the rumor has it that Amherst has a history of rituals and strange sightings. What do you guys think? In this scene, a female elk bravely defends her calf against a pack of wolves in the water. The pack of wolves are using cunning tactics to engage in a struggle with the female elk. To avoid the wolf pack, the mama elk takes the initiative and jumps into the river with her calf. At first, the female elk relies on her size and strength, not necessarily taking the wolf pack seriously. Although she doesn't have the large antlers of a male elk, her powerful limbs are also effective weapons. A kick from her could cause a lot of damage and even be fatal. While she's trying to fend them off and protect herself, 
Her most important priority is keeping her calf safe, who is the true target of the wolf pack. At this point, the wolf pack has begun to wade into the water towards the elk and her calf. The mother elk takes the attack to the wolf pack to protect her calf. The wolf pack begins to use their tactics on the elk. Their strategy of retreating when the enemy advances and attacking when the enemy is vulnerable. They constantly harass and pursue her. Through years of hunting experience, the pack's coordination is impressive. You can see as they take turns attacking, not giving the mama elk any chance to catch her breath. She's becoming exhausted. Her physical and mental strength are draining. She even forgets about her calf for a moment. Seizing the opportunity, the wolf pack pounces on the calf, ready to bite. Fortunately, at the last minute, the female elk steps in. Although the wolf pack has strength in numbers, and that's a big advantage, they still do not dare confront the female elk head on. No one wants to be kicked by her. But they also cannot give up their prey. They adjust their strategy once again. We can see the female elk is infuriated and launches a powerful attack on the wolf pack, causing them to scatter. However, blinded by this rage, she makes a huge mistake while driving away the wolf pack. Her calf cannot keep up with her footsteps and the wolf pack sees an opportunity to attack. And wave after wave of wolves keep coming. The female elk has no time to rest. Facing such organized and disciplined strong wild wolves, it is almost impossible to escape. Finally, the wolf pack sees the opportunity and takes the calf. The mother wants to rescue her child, but she's missed the best time. She can only watch as her calf is dragged ashore by the wolf pack. Another harsh, cruel reality of the animal kingdom. I stumbled upon this video and read the comments, and a few viewers I encountered thought this was pretty funny. However, I have a feeling the Wolverine didn't see it that way. A man living out in the wild in Russia caught this video of a Wolverine with a bucket on its head being chased by a hungry wolf. Now I've shown some videos recently of Wolverines, and I think we can all agree they are nothing to mess with. But the wolf just can't help himself. He sees that the Wolverine is at a distinct disadvantage and he's ready to make him a meal. The Wolverine does a pretty good job staving off the wolf considering he can't even see. The camera operator did say that the wolf tried to attack the Wolverine a little more aggressively. But eventually the Wolverine shook the bucket off his head and he was able to defend himself now. Both of them ultimately went their separate ways. Here's some really interesting footage. This deer passing by triggers this motion trail camera, but that's not the end of it. Take a look at what else the camera captured. In the background, you can see a strange, tall, column-like object passing by very quickly behind the deer's back. It was so fast that the deer barely had any time to react, except to look scared in its direction. I'm not quite sure what that thing was. The owner of the video jokingly suggested that it might be a pile of rocks walking by, but that's definitely not what it is. Anyhow, I'm just as baffled as you are. If it was just a glitch, then why did the deer react so strongly to it? If it were a glitch, he wouldn't even notice. Anyhow, I'll keep you updated if I find out more. I'm just going to let this video of this black panther and leopard play. But I'm curious who you think would win in a fight. Let me know in the comments.
I'm going to issue a warning. Some people might not like the next video clip. Now, I've seen this video a few times and I really wasn't sure if I should put it in. However, when you break it down, it's really a story of never giving up, of grit, of determination, and it's less about the attack. So on this outdoor camera, you see this squirrel just enjoying some food when all of a sudden, boom, the hawk swoops in and snatches this unexpecting squirrel. It looks like his days are numbered, but watch what happens. The squirrel is able to somehow break free and the hawk flings him. Unreal. The squirrel walked away and honestly, I wasn't thinking he would survive. But a few days later, look who it is. Mr. Squirrel, back at the same spot. And look on his body. He's wearing the battle scars proudly. As we rewind and watch the part where the hawk flings the squirrel off to the side, what do you guys think happened? The squirrel had to have bitten him. That's all I can think of. Great camera capture. Let me know what you guys think. This next clip is very interesting and not something I necessarily knew that happened. As you can see, a bear has acquired a moose carcass. Whether he killed it or found it, I don't know. You can see him trying to bury it next to this stream while a few wolves stand by salivating. The bear grabs the disturbed earth trying to cover him up. When he thinks he's done a good enough job, he heads off. Clearly that was not a good enough job because the wolves quickly moved the dirt off and had a feast. When they were finished, it was the vulture's turn and they destroyed it. Eventually pulling and prying and dragging it into the stream. Just a great camera capture. CCTV footage taken at night in the dead of winter shows a moose pretty close to this home. The homeowner had just left for work when he received a notification on his phone that the door surveillance camera had captured something. To his surprise, he just saw a big old moose standing there in his driveway. Anyhow, he went back to work. But as we can all see, the moose shakes his head vigorously and suddenly both of his antlers fall right off. The falling antler startled the moose and he took off. Hours later, the homeowner returned and found the shed lying in the snow on his driveway. He kind of laughed and thought, I wonder if that guy was abducted by aliens. Nevertheless, he couldn't believe his luck. He brought him inside, soaked him, and cleaned him. After a while, he reviewed the surveillance footage, and he got the chance to watch the moose shed those antlers right in front of his house. The man loved his new trophy and just felt grateful for the unexpected gift from nature. I wish I had more backstory on this capture, but what's about to happen is pretty nutty. These chicks are in a cage staying warm from that heat lamp, when out of nowhere, this huge hawk shows up. He flew in from the outside and snatches one of the chicks. It's crazy. The owner said that he edited the video because it was pretty long, but about an hour later, the hawk showed back up and tried again. And you can see the hawk circling the cage. The man said that he did this for a while. Thankfully, he was unsuccessful. But man, these birds of prey, they are savages. Taken in the Philippines, this is a pretty funny video right here. You can see this little pup trying to break up a fight between these roosters. He better watch out. A 
an incredible video taken in Canada where a man and his friend walk up on a deer that has been frozen to death. The man pokes the deer with his rifle just to make sure. Whoa, I guess he's alive. So that deer is just sleeping in the field, covered in snow. The only distinguishable thing were his antlers. Man, he looked like he was sleeping hard too. Canadian deer must just be built different. Let me know about this. I know deer pick a spot and bed down. I've seen that many, many times. But I don't think I've ever seen them sleeping in the middle of the field with no surrounding protection from people or the elements. I'm curious to hear anyone's thoughts about this. This clip is just a pretty cool one to me. Training hunting dogs is big where I come from. The instructor has laid out some raw meat in a line and then funnels her dog out to the courtyard where they face it head on. Watch as all the dogs line up and obey her, not touching the meat. Except for that one little guy with the arrow over his head. He can't help it. He's the class clown. She gives the command for them to eat and they go wild. Look at the mayhem. Awesome command and control by the trainer and willpower of the dogs. Watch it a few times and each time Pick a different dog to watch. It's pretty funny. Even the ones that come in at the end. Now we've all seen rams literally ramming and headbutting each other all over the internet. It's pretty incredible to watch. During headbutting, rams will run at each other and collide head on pushing and shoving with their horns and bodies. The force of the impact can be quite powerful and is used to establish dominance and determine which male is stronger and more fit to mate with the females. Headbutting can also be used to defend territory and resources such as food and water. Now, I wish I knew where this video was taken, where these two animals would meet in the wild. Anyhow, look at the big buck, surrounded by these does seemingly minding his own business. When this ram takes off and headbutts him, the buck reacts and, well, it quickly takes a turn the ram most likely didn't foresee. Mr. Buck decides to escort him out of his general vicinity, so to speak. Rather quickly and uncomfortably, I might add. We didn't need to see much to realize who had the upper hand in this encounter. And if you watch to the end, in the background, you can notice some feed stations, which makes me think this was most likely about food. A British Columbia community off northern Vancouver is wondering if the strange noises they're hearing are from a Sasquatch. Residents of the island say they've been hearing strange screams and howls from the forest, mostly at night. And almost all of the community is convinced there's something out there. Here are the noises that have been captured. It's an eerie recording captured on a cell phone of something that's making strange howling noises heard throughout Alert Bay. We heard it once and I didn't get the recording and then second time I got the recording and that's what was on the back porch. Very eerie. This audio was recently recorded on the backside of Cormorant Island. One particular resident has heard it at least three times. Once during the day and the other two at night. Some disbelievers have said that it's just a dog, but almost everyone attests that it's impossible for a dog to make this type of noise. And while in most places, it would be easy to shrug this off as wildlife noises or peculiar mating sounds, keep in mind that Cormorant Island has no wildlife, no mountain lions, no bears, not even deer. And even if you choose to shoo away the sounds, there have also been multiple sightings of this Sasquatch. A lady whose father still lives on the island came back to pay respects to a loved one. And as she approached the cemetery, she saw the creature. She was so spooked that she didn't stay. Not only that, she left the island altogether. 
A more recent sighting happened when a group of teens were playing soccer. They saw a large creature moving against a building in what took only a few strides. The original uploader of this video goes into greater detail, so you should check that out. But before that, let me know what you guys think. I don't know what to think. I'm not really sure how to process the strange noises, seeing as the island doesn't have any wildlife. If it's not a Sasquatch, and it's not a mountain lion, to get those noises, would it have to be a hoax? Someone playing something over a loudspeaker? I just don't know. But I will say this. Many on that island seemed convinced they're up against a Bigfoot. In this clip, a guy was just walking by in a park when he captured this incredible scene. Admittedly, I couldn't tell what was going on when the video started. I could see a duck with his head underwater, most likely hunting, but that's all I could tell. After not coming up for what felt like a few minutes, the man filming splashed some water on the duck and then he noticed. A huge toad had clamped down onto the duck's beak and entire face. The duck was about to drown. The man reached down and pulled them ashore and plucked the overzealous toad off the duck's face. Wow, that is just crazy. He practically had his whole head in his mouth. We see as the duck casually swims away and the man lets the frog go. I'd be interested if anyone has any insight into this. I'm sure there are frogs big enough to take down a bird. However, in this video, it's almost like the frog got the duck and didn't know what to do with him. Like, uh oh, I'm just going to hold on for dear life. Anyhow, I'm glad the good Samaritan could help the duck out. An incredible mountain lion hunt caught on camera here taking place in Chile's Torres del Paine National Park, some type of goose or bird is caught by this agile lion. Look at that jump. So athletic. The lion made that look much easier than it should have been, and she's able to carry it off for a small meal. Of course, these apex predators are looking for a little more meat, but when they see an easy mark or times get tough, they'll take anything. Staying with the mountain lion theme, here is a cool clip taken from a hunter in a tree stand. The hunter has placed a buck decoy in this grassy area, trying to lure some game in. Well, it worked, except this isn't what he was looking for. Watch as the lion sneaks up behind the decoy. He has to be thinking, this is the easiest meal I'm ever going to have. Just a great thing to catch on camera. In this next similar scene, a trail camera captures the moment a lion has come face to face with a decoy. He's had enough of this and goes on the attack. If you look closely, you can see one of the antlers of the decoy is missing. I'm beginning to wonder if these two have met before. This interaction looks like there might be some unfinished business between these two. Anyhow, great camera footage. The concept of the video doorbell was initially introduced in 2013. Since its mass production, users like Reddit or Love Crystals from Dallas, Texas have been capturing unusual sightings on their doorbell footage. These cameras have been able to capture more than just human intruders. In this particular footage, the camera was positioned on top of the user's garage. The video shows a driveway and a parked car outside the user's house at night. Although it is not uncommon for these cameras to record mysterious videos of people passing by or animals, this footage captured something very peculiar. The driveway near the parked car shows two small bipedal creatures wandering around for several seconds. When they approach the car, we can see that they are around the same height as the tires, which is most likely between 15 to 22 inches. The creatures have an unusual shape with extremely small legs that cause them to waddle as they explore the driveway. Due to being entirely in the shadows, it is impossible to distinguish any specific features. 
Viewers on Reddit have speculated that the creatures could be something as simple as large birds or even owls. However, some are uncertain about this suggestion. It is uncommon to witness such large birds walking on the ground for such a long time. Others believe that the creatures could be a type of cryptid, perhaps resembling a gnome or garden gnome that has come to life. Without additional footage or sightings, it is pretty challenging to determine what these unusual creatures might be. Let's hope that this Redditor security camera will capture more mysterious videos of these guys in the future. What do you all think these creatures could be? I'm at a loss. Although the one commenter that said they were owls, I could see that I think. Anyhow, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm interested to hear. This encounter, taken in Alaska, is insane. A dog sledder and her team, along with a cameraman, are out shooting some footage in the wilderness. All of a sudden, the dogs come to a stop, only to be faced by a big moose. None of the dogs sustained any injuries, but I'm just going to let the video play with volume so you can hear the chaos. A home security camera caught the moment a hawk tried to dive bomb an unsuspecting hen in a backyard. As you can see, the hawk swoops in and corrals the hen. However, there's a brave rooster that is saying, not on my watch, pal. Okay, so to better distinguish who is who through all the feathers flying, the hen is the white one and her knight in shining armor is the black rooster. After the initial skirmish, the hawk rests on top of the fence line to rethink his attack. The hawk drops in for round two when he thinks Mr. Rooster has left the area. However, Rooster hears the commotion and runs to protect the hen again. This time he pins the hawk up against the coop. I'm thinking the hawk learned his lesson. However, this is a pretty common tactic amongst these birds of prey. Trying to pick off vulnerable, confined birds or animals. A few videos back we saw a similar attack with a similar result. That time, the hawk tried to escape and got pinned down inside the hen house. A home security camera captured this footage of a few deer enjoying a late night drink. You can see the deer just doing what deer do. After a few seconds of video, you can see the deer in the forefront perk her head up. She senses, and most likely smells, something is coming their way. As she takes off, that's the signal for her friend to follow suit. And before we can even see what they're escaping from, they're gone. Now, as the camera zooms in, what I think is most impressive is that I cut out about 45 seconds of this video. So very early on, the deer sensed that this predator was nearby. He hadn't even come into camera view. And look at this. Here comes this big guy lumbering out of the small wooded area in the background. Mr. Bear is about a minute too late. Another thing to note is you can see the lights of the houses in the background. Kind of scary that he's just making his rounds through the neighborhood. Here's another piece of the video of him coming around the house. He's a big old boy. He eventually leaves not too far away from the way he came. Man, this is pretty scary footage, but it's helpful to know what you have creeping around your house, day or night. Amazing footage here from a couple just trying to steal away a few minutes of relaxation on their back deck. Out of nowhere, they see a bald eagle swimming directly for their backyard. They thought at first he might be hurt, but when he got to shore, you can see what he has I think is a big carp in tow. 
That guy is massive in size compared to the eagle. The couple that filmed the encounter said the eagle gorged himself on the fish for hours, stashed it in an overhanging bush, and came back the next day to finish it off. Just a great camera capture. Now this is a feel-good story here. Video here of a man playing with his dogs while camping. Three dogs just roughhousing out in the water fetching a stick. You can see one of the labs gets the first stick his owner threw. Then the man launches another one to the right. The camera focuses in on the dog swimming in with the stick. And almost immediately, to me, it looks like he's struggling to keep his head above water. But then when he gets closer, you can notice he's abandoned the stick and he's just trying to make it to shore. But suddenly he goes under and his owner sprints out into the water and pulls him up. The man is fully clothed and struggles to grasp the pup. A friend comes to help out and they get the dog on land. And thank God the pup makes a full recovery and is just fine to this day. Man, I don't know about you guys, but my dog is family to me, so I don't blame the man for jumping in for the rescue. Fully clothed, phone in pocket, whatever it takes. I sensed something was wrong when the dog ditched the stick. Anyhow, great job paying attention to your surroundings by the owner. Just a rather strange video here as we see this cat is holding a small bunny prisoner. Eventually the cat leaps up to an overhanging porch with the bunny gently in its mouth. As the cat takes his eye off his playmate, the bunny sees his chance and slips through the bars and flies down to the ground. He takes off across the green grass as the cat finally notices and takes pursuit. And just when it looks like the bunny might get away, you've got to be kidding me. A hawk swoops by and snatches up the very, very unlucky bunny. Man, what a crazy turn of events. And it's very easy to see why having a bird's eye view lends such an advantage. A photo taken in an undisclosed location in the U.S. shows a strange shape floating in the dark. It looks like the upper part of a person's body and head, but the lower half disappears like mist. It appeared then disappeared after a few seconds, and it has since made the property owner feel very uneasy when walking in that area. This particular photo has sparked a debate among believers and skeptics about whether it is proof of the supernatural. Stories about ghosts and shadowy figures have been told for centuries, and some people think they are real while others don't. Photos like this, this exact type of mystery and intrigue of the unknown, attract many to investigate the paranormal. Even though we may not be able to explain the figure in the photo, it reminds me that there are still unexplained things in this world that fascinate us. A surreal scene here as we see a flock of birds hovering over this house before dive bombing the home through the chimney. Located in California, 1,500 plus birds flew into a man's house who said that this was the most unimaginable thing he's ever been a part of. He had no idea what was happening. The noise, the waste they left behind, just sheer chaos. All in all, it took three entire days to remove all of the birds manually. In this last little clip, you can see he was able to use a fireplace screen to block, he estimates, another 1,000 birds from entering the home. Good, quick thinking, but what an absolute disaster. Man, I'd love to know why they did that. This next recording took place at Klingman's Dome, the highest peak in Tennessee's Smoky Mountains. According to the narrator, while strolling along a path, they noticed a group of individuals gazing up at the trees. They appeared to have spotted what resembled a bear, but this bear was standing upright on two legs and never dropped down to all fours. 
Due to the creature's size, many were convinced that it was a genuine Bigfoot sighting. The video doesn't give definitive evidence to what the creature could be, but if you listen to the audio, you hear a few of them say, that's a Bigfoot. I will say I'm a little surprised at how calm they all are. And if it was just a bear, I feel like that many people wouldn't be stopped on the side of a trail just watching. And then again, if it is a bear, they might be a little too close. He could close that short distance in no time. Maybe they're planning on playing a little game of, I don't have to be the fastest, I just have to be faster than the slowest. Anyhow, great capture, and this definitely seems to be one of the more credible videos that I've seen. Let me know your thoughts. This is an incredible video here. A man says an alligator, which he had never seen before, made its way through a courtyard, but got stopped. Very briefly stopped by this black metal fence. Just look at this. Look at the power. I don't even really know what to say. Let's watch it again. The man helps him out the rest of the way. Do we have any viewers in here that live near alligators? And if so, have you ever seen anything like this? Animal Wiki uploaded a peculiar TikTok video allegedly filmed in a rural mountain range in Japan. In the clip, a small dragon-like creature can be seen swimming in a stream. While some viewers dismiss it as a hoax, it looks rather real, and it's fascinating how dragons are embedded in the mythology of various cultures worldwide. Dragons have been believed in some shape or form by civilizations across the globe for thousands of years. In Europe, dragons were known for their massive size and fire-breathing abilities, while in ancient China they were revered for their control over the weather and supposedly guarded heaven and earth against outside forces. Perhaps there is some truth to these legends. Ultimately, I'll let you decide. One of the most surprising sightings that you could capture on a trail camera was possibly captured by this one. Instead of the usual animals or nocturnal creatures, a decent amount of fully armed soldiers carrying automatic rifles were spotted walking through the forest. And this trail camera caught it. This seems pretty suspicious to me. Maybe they're sneaking up through the woods to surprise a drug operation. Another commenter mentioned that they were there for training. Seems a little too close for comfort seeing as this man has a trail camera on what I'm assuming is his property. Anyhow, thank goodness it was daylight, otherwise it really would have been a startling scene. This clip right here is just a cool capture. A horse grazing his field when a wild boar shows up. The boar is kind of sniffing around, but he seems like he wants to mix it up a little bit. The horse tries to defuse the situation by walking away, but the boar wants the action. As the pig gets a running start, he lunges for the horse's tail, and she bucks her back legs and hooves. Catching the boar with a body shot, and he takes off. Probably a little out of breath, but he should be lucky he didn't catch one of those kicks to the head. Countless individuals across the globe enjoy taking walks in their nearby forests. Not only for the physical activity, but also for the unpredictability of what they may encounter during different seasons. One such man, James Rankin, is a resident of Long Island who likes to go on hikes. However, his usual routine was disrupted in October of 2016 when he stumbled upon a clearing in Berkeley Jackson County Park, located in Huntington, New York. To his surprise, he noticed over a dozen missing person posters attached to the surrounding trees. 
all of which were real cases from the New York area and recently printed and laminated for protection. The majority of these posters were of women, with a few men as well. To add to the eerie scene, there appeared to be a shrine made of carefully placed twigs at the center of the clearing. James, fearing that he might have uncovered a serial killer's hideout or something even worse, he notified the local police department. It was then, and only then, that he learned the truth behind what he had seen. The posters in the clearing were part of preparations for an upcoming Halloween party. What? And after a few weeks, everything was taken down and removed. Despite knowing the reality, Rankin still has found it challenging to continue his walks with the same sense of adventure. He's slightly anxious about what he may encounter around each corner. Yeah, I don't blame you, James. This is pretty creepy. I mean, that is strange. I like parties as much as the next guy, but I don't want anything to do with that Halloween party. I mean, whoever thought of that has some issues. Anyhow, let me know in the comments, are you going to this party or are you going to sit this one out? In June of 2021, TikTok user Clax Attacks uploaded the following piece of footage and it's been freaking viewers out ever since. Check this out. From what is visible, there appears to be a large, two-legged being moving at a leisurely pace across the property of the man in the video. As you can see, the video also shows their pet dog intently observing the figure from afar. No one has been able to provide an explanation for the sighting leaving those who watched it wondering whether the entity was an intruder or something of a more mystical nature. A few days later, Clax Attacks posted another video updating regarding the sighting. He has no idea what this could have been. Some commenters said a ghost, a wendigo, or the most popular comment was that it was a skinwalker. Let me know your theories. All I know is that it's pretty creepy. The man seems to be tucked back there pretty nicely in a desolate piece of property. On March 23, 2023, a video clip was uploaded to TikTok by a user named Moto Owens. Moto is known for sharing videos of himself riding his dirt bike through wooded trails. Despite frequently riding through this area, he had never come across anything unusual until that day. As he was traveling along the path, he rode up on some scattered bones, which was pretty unsettling. He didn't stop to look, but it's unclear whether the bones are from an animal or a human. Despite the bones, Owens continued along the trail until he encountered a fallen tree that was blocking his path. He got off his bike to move the tree, and at that moment, something pretty terrifying occurred. The voice sounds like it could be from a person, but it's not quite high enough to hear. You might need to slow it down a little bit or turn your speakers up really loud. Moto doesn't stick around to find out. Commenters on the TikTok thought it could be a mountain lion or even a skinwalker shape-shifting and trying to lure him into the woods. Yeah, I think it's a good idea that he left. Let me know what you all think this could have been. A cool sight here as we see a bird of prey trying to dive bomb and snatch up a kangaroo, which when I say it out loud seems pretty weird. Experts suggest that the birds may perceive the prey below to be much smaller than it really is when they are in flight above. Some of them make contact with the large prey before realizing it is much, much bigger than they were expecting. The kangaroo wasn't harmed. Rest assured, he can surely defend himself from these birds. I wasn't sure if this first attack was a one-off, but then I found this video. Watch as this trail camera picks up the moment a bird of prey swooped in after this kangaroo. Initiating contact and a little scuffle ensues. The kangaroo is able to break free, and I'm sure the bird realized that this wasn't worth the hassle. Anyhow, this is definitely new to me. I hadn't seen any of these yet. This footage here captures a moose staring directly into a trail camera. 
However, the frightening aspect of this video is what appears in the background, behind the trees. A set of glowing eyes is visible, appearing to stalk the moose. These eyes move from one side of the screen to the other, at the height of a person. By the end of the clip, the moose appears to have noticed this presence, but the question remains, what is this? Is there really something stalking this moose? Could it be a wolf? Maybe a mountain lion? Or something even more unusual? This trail camera watching this mother falcon in her nest captures the moment a sneaky marten gets to the nest and robs it of its eggs. One by one, this sneaky little devil pulls them out of there. Perhaps the more fascinating part of the video is that it appears the marten arrives almost immediately after the falcon leaves. Now, I look to see if the video was edited there like maybe he didn't show up that quickly, but I can't tell. If it's not, that Martin is incredibly stealthy and it would mean that he was practically hiding directly under the branch or whatever structure this nest was on. Undetected. Nature is cruel and incredible. No better way to kick this video off than with an absolute behemoth mountain lion clutching this tree on his way down. I mean, look at the muscles in the shoulders and back of this thing. Just lean, pure muscle. In his lower arm, you can see a vein pushing through his fur. This guy is jacked. This photo was taken two years ago in Nevada by Reddit user Former Fruit. Now tell me, What's your game plan if this guy is shimmying down a tree in your direction? I don't know what mine is, but I can tell you what it isn't, and that's to stick around and take a picture. This is just amazing footage right here. A trio of falconers have attached a tiny camera to some of their falcons to give us an up-close look into what it looks like during a falcon hunt. It is just unreal. Check this out. The crows that they are hunting are highly intelligent and will find various ways to destroy farmers' crops. So, hunting with falcons is considered a traditional and effective method of pest control. It helps to keep their numbers in check and prevents damage to crops and other property. Just incredible. Here are some still images of the hunt. This next clip is from a biker with a GoPro attached to his helmet. As we watch, everything seems fine until he hits this narrow walled path and boom, out of nowhere, something jumps in front of him scares the bejesus out of him, almost causing him to wreck. He stops and looks back, but whatever it is is gone. When we slow down the footage, it definitely looks like it could be a monkey. But the biker says no way, no way that was just a monkey. According to him, it had gray skin, so if anything, it was a dog-monkey combo. So what do you guys think? Was it just a monkey and the biker got spooked for nothing? Or is it something else entirely? We may never know. However, let me know your thoughts. Okay, so this next video clip is awesome. Footage taken in Alberta, Canada, right next to an oil drilling crew in its setup. One day, a member of the crew spots a dark figure off in the distance on a tree line. So he grabs his phone. 
And the next thing he knows, out of nowhere, he sees a tree being thrown by said figure. Now, no one has been able to determine what this creature is. And ultimately, it got sent to Thinker Thunker, a very popular YouTube channel. And Thinker Thunker first says, he's not here to rule on what this is. But he also quickly points out that whatever in the world this is, it has superhuman strength. Some viewers have even said that the tree is fake. But he goes on to explore the dimensions of the tree and the weight and is able to determine that the tree being thrown is at least 4 meters long, or 12 feet, and weighs 50 pounds. And he places a lot of emphasis on these being very, very conservative figures. He even offers up a rebuttal for those that say the tree is fake. He explains that sometimes our mind sees things so incomprehensible that it can't, won't, even register in our minds. Thinker Thunker dives into if this is a fake tree, and so be it. Maybe it's PVC pipe, a movie prop, paper mache, or some other material. However, whatever it is, it's still heavy, and it still got thrown a good distance from the tree line. By something. And as I mentioned, he's adamant about not trying to determine what this creature is. He's left that to everyone else. Man, I hope you guys look this video up because he goes in depth. It is super, super interesting. And this is just a small clip. But I have to say, I pretty much agree with them. Something through this. And for me, the way it lands is key. The tree looks dead weight. It doesn't rattle or bounce and slowly hit the ground. It looks exactly the way a tree would look hitting the ground. Man. I would love to know everyone's thoughts on this, and if there's any more information on it, please let me know. This next clip contains yet another strange, unrecognizable creature, this time caught on outdoor security footage. As you can see, a small hairy creature is wandering around this back patio. The original uploader described it as scurrying around on two little legs super quick. As you can see, the critter's body is covered in fur, but from this vantage point, there don't seem to be any arms. To be honest, it's more interesting than scary seeing this little ball of fluff walking around. But I'm also curious to know exactly what it is. Personally, I think it's an animal on four legs versus two legs, which makes it more reasonable. Nevertheless, good footage. If anyone has any more info, let me know in the comments. Here we have an old National Geographic video, and supposedly it shows a sighting of Bigfoot in eastern Russia. A few kids recorded it on their phone, so the quality isn't great. In the clip, you can see the kids playing in the snow, but they notice some big footprints and decide to follow them. They stop near a group of trees because they see something moving in the distance. At first, like everyone, they think it might be a bear. But as they look closer, they realize it could be a tall, hairy, humanoid creature. The wild part is that the creature notices them too, and immediately darts away deeper into the forest. The kids were interviewed and later described the creature's face as white and hairless, opposite of the rest of its body. So, what do we think? Did these kids really see Bigfoot, or was it something else? This is an odd occurrence here. Witnessed by Washington locals nearly a year ago, numerous fish were filmed crossing the road, and the whole town was abuzz. For those without much experience around the water, they thought these fish had gone crazy. But the salmon were crossing the road from a field that they had been washed into due to their original home, the river, flooding. Although this is a rare sight, some old timers in town said they had seen this happen at least once before. And another townsperson commented on the original upload said that some good Samaritan passerbys stopped and helped a lot of the fish over the road. Pretty cool. Let me know if you guys have seen anything similar. Most people think that werewolves only show up when the moon is full, 
But that's not always true, apparently. About three years ago, a man in Brazil said he spotted one almost in his backyard. And he says he has proof that the beast was hiding right behind his fence. And he says it came out of the forest from behind his house. The man was able to film it and said the werewolf tried to attack him. Fortunately, the guy lived to tell the tale, but he wasn't able to catch very good footage before it disappeared into the night. What are your thoughts on this one? Our next clip shows a guy who set out one day and wanted to take some awesome nature pics. And he also thought it would be cool to see it from his dog's point of view. So he rigged up a camera on his dog's collar and they went off into the woods. A half a mile or so onto the trail, the dog's camera picked up a big two-legged creature walking in front of them. The man said he didn't know it until he got home and reviewed the footage. Again, some people said it was a bear, but bears usually stand their ground, at least briefly. They don't immediately run and hide. So once again, this brings up the idea of Bigfoot. You can definitely see the creatures walking on two legs. What do you guys think? Personally, I'm a little skeptical. It might be a fake. I don't like saying that, but there's something suspicious about it. Pretty creepy video here from Reddit user Falco Darkblade. I think I saw that this was taken in Afghanistan, but don't quote me on that. Anyhow, as we watch, this man is going to crouch down near this rock. And very briefly, we're going to see a creature's face and eyes. He's shining his flashlight. He'll eventually zoom in and shine it into this crevice. You have to be looking intently because it happens fast. Let me know in the comments what you think this is. Most people are just saying that it's an owl. And unfortunately, I think they might be right. But if I stumbled on that thing at night, I'd be scared too. This next trail camera capture came from Redditor um, yeah, no, 37. I'm just going to paraphrase what she had written. Taken at night, we found this pic from our trail camera we had set up by an old farm field of ours. We don't know, and nobody else seems to know what it is. And honestly, it's freaking us out. The cam only takes pics when it detects motion, and it was dark out, so it's not a bug or some other debris caught in the light. Also, there aren't many bugs around because of the hard freezes. We're in a remote area, so no car or people with flashlights are around. And no air traffic either, so it can't be a helicopter light. The weather was windy and rainy, but no lightning according to my lightning alert app. By the way, we're in northern New York, close to Canada. The next day, my hubby went to check it out, but he didn't see anything weird. Our first guess was that it could have been a meteorite but we quickly crossed that off the list. Some people are saying it's ghosts or aliens, but we need some real answers. Personally, I think it could be ball lightning, but I think normal lightning detection would have picked that up. I just don't know. Can y'all help us solve this mystery? All right, well, those are definitely an interesting few pictures they have. It would be really cool if there was proof it was an alien beaming down light from a UFO. Lightning is probably the most reasonable possibility, but in the last photo with her husband walking the area, it doesn't seem like the ball or beam of light left any impression on the ground. I don't know enough about this topic to really speak on it, so let me know what you guys think about this. A man was out hiking in a big national park in the United States, and while he was walking on one of the trails, he stumbled upon something that took his breath away. Luckily, he had his camera with him, so he decided to take a picture of it. What he saw was the remains of an animal that he couldn't identify. Now, I warn you, it might be kind of disturbing to some people. Since he's posted it, the picture has gone crazy on the internet, and lots of folks have been trying to guess what it could be. 
A lot of people have theories, but nobody knows for sure. Some people are saying it's just the skull of a bear, but what do you personally think? To me, this looks like a dog man skull. The lower jaw protruding out kind of makes it look like a gorilla as well. I would say the consensus is saying that it's a bear skull and I can definitely see the resemblance. If it's a bear, I guess he's missing his snout. It's not in the picture. And the snout being ripped off, but the top row of teeth being there is odd. Man, I don't know. I'd be interested if anyone is 100% positive on what this is. This footage was taken in a location described as a Bigfoot hotbed. So when this trail cam owner got a look at this creature and its wiry hair up close on his trail camera, his heart rate skyrocketed. You can see whatever it is using its giant paws to try and pull the trail camera down, potentially not wanting to be seen. But once the creature slows down and takes a step back, we can see that it is just a curious bear. However, he is intent on pulling this down. All of a sudden the video goes dark and it seems Mr. Bear is victorious. This trail cam here installed in Japan shows that it too was dealing with some sort of creature trying to dislodge it. All we can see is the hair and whiskers of a creature that eventually turns out to be a wild boar. This guy is trying hard and if you need any more proof of what kind of animal this is, you can notice his little pigtail wagging. By now, I'm sure we all know how relentless these animals are, and he is bound and determined to break this camera off this structure. Unlike the camera in the last clip, this guy was able to hold on for dear life. Last year in the forests of Canada, a farmer attached a trail camera to a tree hoping to catch some good footage. Well, he got what he came for. A nice-sized buck in rut is caught on camera scraping the tree. Really cool to see his antlers fly in and out of frame. It's unclear whether the flash of the camera annoyed him or if he was just scraping his antlers. Caught in an adjacent trail camera, we see a buck wallowing in a mud hole, using his antlers to dig it out. Deer and elk and others will use a wallow to keep cool on hot days, and also to help keep off ticks and other parasites. Either or, this is a great capture. Filmed somewhere in southern Florida, this is just an awesome trail cam video of a monstrous gator up close and personal. His eye shine makes him look super creepy and it appears he is heading right for the camera until he ultimately passes it by. Not an animal you want to run into ever. Honestly, I'd have a hard time going back in daylight to retrieve this camera. What say you guys? The last trail cam photo in our in-video compilation is that of a gray wolf, peering intently into the camera. This footage captured in northeastern Washington shows the wild wolf at someone's campsite and very interested in this camera. The next shot we see the inside of the wolf's mouth as he attempts to chew it from its straps. The wolf was actually successful in pulling it off, but the owner was able to recover it only about a football field away, with only minor damage. Our last photo here is from Redditor Mamma Mia. While I will always try to give priority to trail camera videos and wildlife footage, I stumbled upon this in my searching and added it in just because I think it's really cool. It looks like she's using an old box camera and many commenters are saying that this is quite possibly the first mirror selfie ever taken. I don't know about that, but I found it pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching.
taken in April of 2023, this clip is just a really cool capture of a normal house cat. Well, biologically it's normal, but its coloring is off the charts. The owner of this trail camera writes that this is his neighbor's cat. And he knows that now, but the first time he saw this guy come across his footage, he almost jumped out of his skin. He didn't know what he was looking at. The cat has a typical feline face, which you get a good look at as he stares directly into the camera. It's his markings that are so phenomenal. And the thing that was throwing the trail camera owner off was this guy's shortened tail. I wouldn't say it's as bobbed as a bobcat, but it's definitely shortened. He also looks a little bigger than a standard house cat. The owner was nice enough to add a trail cam pic of a coyote for scale. Anyhow, the cat usually runs this fence line a few times a day hunting birds. Let me know if you've seen a cat like this with unusual markings, or if this is an entire breed of cat that I'm just not familiar with. Anyway, beautiful cat, awesome captures. An eerie photograph from a trail camera in New York State shows what appears to be a ghostly figure following a pair of haunters. Shared with Coast to Coast AM by Jesse Grandel, the chilling image was captured in December of 2021. Her husband Bob and their daughter were out hunting on their property in the community of Savona. The unsettling photo went unnoticed until last week when he was going through his trail camera pictures from the past few years and noticed the spooky translucent figure walking behind them. Jesse says, he made me look at it and I asked him who was with them because I don't ever remember them taking anyone hunting, Jesse recalls, and he said no one. Father and daughter were both a bit freaked out by it. Jesse said her husband subsequently shared the photo on social media and a friend's father recognized the individual as a man named Paul who used to live in our house and he hunted those same woods. He moved out of our place in either late 2003 or 2004 and died a couple years later. Jesse says we never met the man so we had no idea what he looked like. While skeptics will no doubt contend that this spirit is merely a trick of light and shadow or the product of digital editing, but Jesse insists that the photo has not been doctored in any way and that it was simply one of hundreds of otherwise normal pictures captured by the trail camera. Wow, that's crazy. With that in mind, what do you guys make of this figure in the image? Could Bob and his daughter have been followed by the ghost of the man who once hunted that same area? Who once lived in their house? An incredible story here in our next clip. A woman who was out hiking in the Segura National Park ends up having the scare of a lifetime. It all started when she noticed the nearby deer, whose company she had been enjoying, abruptly started to bleat and make noises. She could tell they were alerting to something. Then in an instant, they took off. Her own animal instincts kicked in and she headed off to her tent. And it's a good thing she did. The hiker says she's not even really sure why she looked up, but when she did... She saw a mountain lion lying in wait on a tree branch almost directly above her. As she started filming it, she tried yelling at the lion to scare it away, but that didn't work. So then she got really brave and threw some rocks at it, hoping to scare it off and not piss it off. Thankfully, the cougar eventually got bored and wandered away, so the hiker was able to gather herself in her tent. Man, what a freaky experience. Reddit user Altruistic Cell posted this photo to a Reddit message board claiming it was Bigfoot's hand. It has popped up more recently even though the photo was taken in November of 2002. It went viral around that time and has been making its rounds again. I mean, I don't know if it's Bigfoot's hand, but whatever it is, it's pretty creepy. The hand looks huge insinuating it belongs to something huge. Its fingers have an odd shape while its fingernails look to be slightly sharpened. I was scrolling the comments and if it's not the hand of Bigfoot, it seems the next most popular thing is that it's a movie prop or part of a Halloween costume. 
While this picture has plenty of skeptics, there are believers that this is Bigfoot's hand. Let me know what you guys think this could be. This next clip shows footage straight out of a horror story, a nightmare brought to life. According to the security camera footage, a colossal black bear was seen entering the home where a teenager was sound asleep on the couch. The sudden sound of the door opening jolted the boy awake and he found himself at a loss for words as he saw the beast making its way in. You can tell the gravity of the situation dawned on him as the bear approached him. In that moment, he realized that his life was in grave danger. However, he popped up, mustered the courage to lunge at the bear, attempting to scare him off. Miraculously, the bear seemed frightened by the boy's attempts and eventually retreated back out of the house. The boy was left shaken to his core, but a sense of relief washed over him as he shut the door and he realized he had managed to escape becoming the bear's meal. The initial clip I saw of this was making fun of the boy's attempts to scare the bear away. Honestly, I think he did a pretty good job. Considering he was awakened out of the dead asleep, I mean, I can't imagine waking up to this. Did you guys notice the ease in which the bear flung that door open? Sheer power. This is an extremely impressive video here. Look at how still his head is. This is a kestrel and they are excellent hunters. With the ability to hover in the air for extended periods of time as they search for prey. They typically feed on small mammals, birds, and insects. The kestrel is known for its distinctive hunting style which involves hovering in the air above its prey before diving down quickly to make the kill. They are carnivores and they can be found all over the world except for Antarctica and some oceanic islands. They love to roam open habitats such as grasslands, deserts, and savannas. And they are from the falcon family and often used in falconry. Another fun fact is that they find a partner and they mate for life. In Oregon, a passerby films a wolverine coming down a mountain and crossing the road. Wolverines are classified as threatened. However, two more sightings occurred last month in Oregon. The first confirmed sightings outside the wolverine's habitat in the Wallowa Mountains in over 30 years. Here's the moment a wolverine gets confronted by two hungry wolves. Man, I say it all the time, but these wolverines are big. Look at him compared to the wolves who are also very big and healthy. He does a good job of not letting the wolves get behind him. Eventually, he's able to saunter off and live another day. This next clip is rare footage of a wolverine seen attempting a kill in 2017 near Ajax Mountain in Montana. It's estimated that less than 250 of these creatures roam in the lower 48. Look at how fast he's swimming. Look at this guy go. And again, look how big he is. He is huge and can really move. He's got his eyes fixed on the baby deer that's stuck in the shallow water. Eventually, the mama deer shows up and that slows the wolverine down a little bit. The fawn is able to swim away and escape. Builders in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh were surprised when they stumbled upon a set of strange looking birds. These creepy birds had dark, black eyes that some people thought made them look like alien creatures. But upon closer inspection, it turns out that these birds are actually eastern barn owls, a species very closely related to the western barn owls commonly found in the US and Britain. So why do these guys look so strange? Well, it turns out that these birds were actually adolescents, who had recently grown out of their chick phase and were now transitioning into adulthood. This change made them look quite skinny and bizarre. It seems these birds go through stages just like humans do. 
Anyhow, I'd hate to be working on a big construction project and stumble upon these two. Scare you to death. A guy in Florida was kayaking along this little creek when he ran into a gigantic alligator. One that didn't seem too pleased to see him. At first, the man initially thought the alligator was just a shadow. But then he realized, no, it was not just a shadow. It was a pretty big alligator around 7 or 8 feet long. He grabbed his camera once he identified the alligator. But unfortunately, his kayak began to drift right over the predator which definitely made the man a little antsy. As you can see, the alligator steps back a few times, but then stops and stands its ground. I mean, the man is merely feet away from this creature, and he admitted he was starting to feel pretty scared. However, to his surprise and his happiness, the alligator just let the boat pass right over him. The man just floated and sat in disbelief and took a moment to take it all in. I will say this about alligators, Above anything else in this world, they freak me out. We hear about shark attacks a little more often even though they're super uncommon, but with a shark, it's usually a case of mistaken identity. They don't necessarily want to eat us. But with the alligator, that's the only thing on their mind. They absolutely want to eat us. And if they're not in the mood to eat us at that moment, they'll bury you under a log and save you for later. Yeah, no thanks. This photo was taken on Redstone Ranch and shared by a Redditor claiming that the glowing eyes in the background are those of a dog man. He went on to say that there had been some strange occurrences around his farm. More specifically, a deer carcass had been dragged from a nearby field and that's never happened before. Some chickens had also been taken from the coop and killed, but not eaten. Any predators in his area would have definitely eaten all of the carcass and the chickens. And that definitely does sound a little strange to me. I know dogmen are real, but I've mostly heard of them eating what they killed. I've also heard of them sucking the blood out of some animals too, though. A few commenters on the post said that they thought they were the eyes from a cougar stalking a deer. That the camera angle and our depth perception of the photo makes it appear that the eyes are much taller than they really are. That's interesting. Let me know what you guys think about this capture. Another creepy trail camera photo captured here. Taken on a farm in 2020, the owner of the land said he captured this photo behind one of his feeding stations. And he adamantly believes it is either a dogman or a Bigfoot. What do you guys think about this? Most of the comments on Reddit were letting this person have it, claiming that it was a fake. That the color of the trees, that purplish tent, were clear signs that the photo was manipulated. They also claim that trail cameras generally take bursts, so where were the other photos? A small minority defended the pic, claiming that it looks real and that trail cameras have settings that could be programmed to produce only one picture. Taken by the Voyager's Wolf Project, cute footage of some wolf pups. It's adorable how they follow each other, like their pack instincts are so strong. Nice compilation here, but take a look at this black wolf. Wow. And then the next wolf that just plucks that fish out of that little stream? <laughs> Way too easy. This little snippet shows a wolf covered in blood after feeding off a kill. It's amazing how these pack animals work together. Again, these clips are from the Voyager's Wolf Project and the rest of their videos are packed with action, so go check them out. This is a pretty crazy slash funny video here. Taken in, yep, you guessed it, Australia. A home security camera captured the moment a kangaroo and a man got into a fight in his front yard. You see the man come around the corner and the kangaroo is chasing him. I mean, I know they can be aggressive, but dang. The man gets up and is hitting the kangaroo with a stick. 
which doesn't seem to be doing much. Finally, the man takes the kangaroo down, all the while his dog is barking in the fenced enclosure in the background. Man, I wish I knew what happened after this. I wish the camera didn't stop rolling. This is great. I don't mean to laugh because I could tell this man was fighting for his life. But it's just a great video. I don't have much information on this video other than a pilot saying he caught this on camera and thinks it's a UFO. I'm going to let it play a few times and I'd love to know everyone's thoughts. I mean, to me, it looks like it could just be a plane. It's oddly shaped and flying in the path of and very close to this other plane, but I just don't know. I'd be interested if there were any pilots listening to this that could shed some light on what this could be. First of all, is that an odd shape for a plane? Is the speed abnormal? And can you confirm or deny that this seems a pretty dangerous way to fly? Especially if in fact that it is just another plane and not a UFO. I don't know, I would just love to know more information about this. I'm unsure of which country this is in, but an outdoor camera captured the moments an owner and her dog have a scary encounter with a snake. The dog catches that thing out of the corner of his eye, and he doesn't hesitate. Goes into full attack mode and snatches this snake. He flings it into the driveway where he spins and flips it all over the place. You can see as the snake tries to bite the dog. One last time, the dog picks the snake up and takes him out of camera view. And you can see the husband and wife duo come out with a broom to break up the fight. Lastly, it's unknown if this snake was poisonous or not. He was definitely a pretty good sized one. Can anyone tell what kind of snake this is? Or if it is anything other than just a plain old black snake? In Colombia, a farmer stumbled upon a mysterious creature while he was tending to his bees in the field. This creature, which had a black color and two horns atop its head, had been hiding in a prickly bush before it was discovered. Once the farmer caught sight of the creature, he decided to grab his camera and film it. As he approached the unknown beast, it appeared to stare directly at him, giving off a very unsettling energy. The farmer said he couldn't shake the feeling that the creature would attack him at any moment, so he made sure to keep his distance. After a few minutes of observation, the horned beast disappeared behind the bushes and vanished without a trace. The farmer was relieved but also puzzled by what he had seen. When he checked the surrounding area, there was no evidence the creature had ever been there. With its striking appearance and elusiveness, the mysterious creature remains a topic of debate among the locals, who have dubbed it the Colombian Cryptid. In this next clip, these two young boys saw this really weird creature roaming a field outside their house, dressed in all white and crouched down like it was some kind of wild animal. At first, they weren't sure if it was even real, but one of them thought he'd get a bit closer to check it out. And that's when the thing started screaming in this bizarre voice and suddenly stood up and charged straight at them. Needless to say, they were totally freaked out and ran as fast as they could back into their house. But wouldn't you know it, after hiding out for only a few minutes, they decided to peek outside to see if the creature was still there. And sure enough, it was still hanging outside their house like nothing had happened. And to make things even more spooky, their dog started barking at it too. The boys were later interviewed by a cryptid hunter, and they were pretty freaked out. No one seems to know what this could have been. Do you guys have any insight? One of your worst nightmares is to have a guest that won't leave. Well, similar to that, this is just a hilarious camera capture. Look at this. A man recently had an unexpected encounter while boating on Puget Sound off the coast of Washington. He spotted two enormous sea lions swimming nearby and decided to record them. 
when suddenly the massive marine animals decided to take a break and rest on top of someone's sailboat. Yeah, look at the way the boat tilts. It's clearly not designed to handle these types of passengers. Each of these bad boys can weigh up to 2,500 pounds and reach 11 feet in length. Now, the sailboat that is anchored in the harbor looks a little older. It's probably not abandoned, but maybe. A few other instances that have been caught on camera like this, and the boats were definitely not abandoned. I'm guessing these lions are just taking a breather or looking for a place to sun themselves. Anyhow, great capture. I've never seen anything like this. A man was asked to watch a friend's property while they were on vacation. He became paranoid after hearing strange sounds, and he knew that some odd occurrences had happened to the neighbors that lived on that road. To ensure his safety, he set up trail cameras around the perimeter fence, and while reviewing the footage one night, it appears that one afternoon, he captured an image of a large, furry, bipedal creature with massive hands and legs walking past the camera. He was freaked out. This was captured in the middle of the afternoon. As he scrolled through more footage, it became apparent that the creature appeared every day around the same time, suggesting that it was keeping an eye on this man. When the man house-sitting screenshot and texted an image of this creature to his friend, the owner of the property, all he got back was a warning not to upset the creature. The friend said that the neighboring properties had all seen it, but nobody knew what this thing was. The man that was house-sitting seemed to have a change of heart. Now he thought he was just the butt of a joke, that they were all playing a prank on him. There's no way that this could be a real creature running around this little neighborhood. So he figured that this had to be just one of the neighbors running around in a suit. So the very next day, he yelled at it and decided he was going to expose the prankster. However, when he did yell at it, the creature ran away so fast that he immediately knew that whatever this was, it was not human. He never saw the creature again. But every single night, something on the property was destroyed. Gardens, flower beds, a rope swing, the windows of a beat-up pickup, and more. Does anyone have any idea what this creature could have been? A park ranger stumbled upon a wrestling match in the California woods. Two birds of prey were locked into each other with their talons. He described the battle being between a sparrow hawk and a juvenile kestrel. You can definitely see a distinct size advantage. If you remember a few videos back, the kestrel was the bird that hovered in the air and its head remained completely motionless until it was time to attack. Well, it looks like he was on the wrong end of this fight. Anyhow, it appears he survived. The smaller bird that flew off was said to be the kestrel and you can see the hawk standing on the ground is pretty good sized. Just a great capture here. Another video from California shows the moment a man found an unusual tree on the edge of his farm. At first glance, this looks more like a portal than a tree. But upon closer examination, it was discovered that the tree was still burning from the inside out. But upon closer examination, it was discovered that the tree was burning from the inside out. This tree had caught fire during the wildfire, and even though it had been contained for several days, the tree continued to burn. The man observed that the tree was smoking and had small holes on the inside where the flames were visible. However, the outer layer of the tree appeared to be relatively undamaged. Some people aren't so sure that the fire was caused by the wildfire. Another possible explanation for this is that lightning may have struck the tree and caused the inside to catch on fire. And perhaps the reason why only the inside burns and not the trunk is because the inner layer of the tree is moist, which makes it easier for the fire to catch and burn the tree from the inside out. I will say the image of this burning tree is both fascinating and eerie, and it serves as a stark reminder of the destructive power of wildfires and natural disasters in general. Just awesome, awesome footage.
A few videos ago, we saw a similar situation where a man's home was invaded by birds. And if you think that couldn't have been any worse in this video, these are bats, not birds, flying into this home's chimney. I really hope the homeowner is the one taking the video so they're not actually in the house. And statistically, this is pretty odd, but bats are known to occasionally fly down chimneys in search of a roosting site. Chimneys provide suitable shelter for bats because they often have a dark, cool, relatively dry environment that is similar to the natural roosting sites bats prefer, such as caves. Anyhow, do any of you have any experience with something like this? I hope not. In October of 2019, wildlife authorities in Kenya were puzzled by a giraffe wearing an unusual necklace. Yep, a tire stuck around its neck. Luckily, a mobile veterinary unit was sent to rescue the animal. But as you can imagine, it was pretty difficult to dart and sedate that massive creature. After a group effort, the rescues were able to relax the giraffe and gently remove the tire using ropes. After the tire was removed, the giraffe was giving medical attention to treat the wounds caused by the tire. The awesome rescuer stayed with the giraffe until she woke up, making sure she was alert and stable before releasing her back into the wild. Rescuers are unsure of how or for how long the giraffe was in contact with the tire. It was most likely dumped by a person, and this is a reminder of the dangers that human-made objects can pose to wildlife and to just basically not litter. In what the owner of this video says is a once in a lifetime event, in August of 2017, a three-legged deer nicknamed Tripod was spotted in South Texas. The curious creature was observed standing perfectly on its three limbs. You can see the small knobby protrusion on its front shoulder, that appeared to be a piece of bone or old joint. It is likely that the animal was born without one of its legs, versus possibly losing it to a wilderness accident. And as you can imagine, while this absence of a limb could have posed significant challenges for the animal in the wild, it has adopted remarkably well. The deer has not only learned to compensate for its disability by balancing its body on three legs, but it also runs pretty normally, and I would imagine that it has to to escape predators. Anyhow, a truly miraculous example of nature's adaptability. Check out this awesome video featuring these three dogs that look like they are frozen in time. They're gazing off in the same direction without even a blink. Check them out. It's crazy. Some viewers have even wondered if these dogs are possessed or under some kind of hypnosis. But the truth is, they're just incredibly well trained. These pups have been taught to hold perfectly still until their master gives them a specific signal, which is a remarkable feat of group discipline, even for highly intelligent sheep herding dogs. They were able to remain motionless for a full 30 seconds before finally sprinting off on command. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not sure when you would ever use this or what for, but it is pretty interesting. And if you rewind, you see that one dog move his head in the background. <laughs> pretty funny. A good Samaritan story here, as last January, a man came across a deer in distress. The poor thing was swimming in circles in extremely cold weather and appeared to be disoriented. And upon closer inspection, the man realized that a paint bucket was covering her eyes and her nose and mouth, making it difficult for her to breathe. The deer's chances of survival were decreasing rapidly as there was a high likelihood that the bucket could fill up with water and pull her down under with it. Not to mention she could exhaust herself just swimming in circles, unable to see where to go. Fortunately, the man spotted her in time and called for help from a nearby boat. And after several attempts, they were finally able to rescue her. However, the deer was still confused and continued to circle in the water. So the rescuer took a brave step and grabbed her tightly, got her back towards the shoreline, where she eventually ran out of the water.
similar to the deer, in April of 2015, a greedy lion from a Dutch zoo found himself in a precarious situation. He couldn't help himself, so he dove his face into the feeding barrel that was chocked full of raw meat and meant for his entire pride. In his eagerness, the lion's head becomes stuck, and he found himself trapped. The concerned members of his pride tried to help, but the lion's restlessness was nullifying their efforts. As the panicked lion continued to struggle, and zookeepers worried that he might hyperventilate and pass out, they made the difficult decision to sedate it. Thankfully, the lion was unharmed and eventually freed from the barrel. This should serve as a reminder to us all that greed can lead to dire consequences even for the king of the jungle. <laughs>